Okay, you guys. So, I just got back from doing some things that I have to do. As you guys know, I have some medical issues, like, as far as going out. Like, I have a bit of agoraphobia. It really got bad during COVID. And with my kids going back to school, I really had to psych myself out. That's just the way it is. I don't want to live in fear all my life, especially having kids. I don't want my kids to be like me. I want them to be able to enjoy life. That being said, what happened to me happens to a lot of other people. You know, when they're young, they they look at life with happiness and joy and they go out into the world and they you know, they experience it and what I experienced a lot of other people can experience you know um, it just happened to be that was my lot in life I went out and the wrong people found me I, I was followed um, unbeknownst to me I was stalked unbeknownst to me even on campus um, and it it just really messed with my head so because of that I really always put up a wall and I lost a lot of contact with my friends from high school the funny thing is they never stopped looking for me <laughs> and a lot of them found me and so yeah we're still they know me I, I haven't changed really much. I'm still the same loner type person. I still have a very sarcastic wit. I can be very mean if I have to be, very cold if I have to be. But that is my defense because I've had a lot of things happen and go very wrong. So, that being said, I've made my mistakes befriending people and trusting people and it's not really a mistake to try to reach out and have friends especially on social media you know you want to believe that the people that are out there have your best interest because you want to have their best interest as well and um, this person you don't know but this person because I don't want to give this person away you guys might not even see this video but this is just for my own protection this is just for my own self that I told this person we're just not going to be friends because of the certain people that they affiliate with the people that this person was affiliating with have already hurt me they have said things to me um, through our contacts that were very rude and I didn't appreciate it and then they affiliate with another person who was just a real jerk and I just don't need to be with those kinds of people I don't want to affiliate with those kinds of people I don't want to have to keep explaining why and this person whom is no longer my friend tells me that I thought you were better than this um, you were willing to forgive screw a couple years ago and I, that's a whole different story but the the point being is these are my choices nobody should have to make my decisions for me so when I left a message for this person on Instagram saying you know it's just not working out um, you have dark meaning negative energy around you and I just don't I don't want that you know it it hurt me to do that because I was somewhat close to this person this person heard a lot of my very personal stories and you know of course knew my children and it just it was it was going nowhere it was going absolutely nowhere I didn't feel good inside it was just something for both of us it was almost like um, 
I was being an enabler for this person to not change their ways and they were also being an enabler to me for me just to stay in my you know agoraphobic situation they're not a doctor I'm not a doctor but when we keep telling each other it's okay to be how we are instead of no it's scary but you can do it we tend to stay exact we're not going to make any positive changes for the best if we keep doing exactly what we're doing right that's just how it is you know crazy to me is you keep doing the same exact thing and you think there's going to be different results i'm a person who gets up and puts in the effort and knows that in the long run something will come of it when i tend to start to get down I start to see what is it that's getting me down. And I'm not saying it was just this one person. There's been several. It's just this one person decided to take it very personally and started telling other people that I connect with on different platforms, making those other people feel uncomfortable. So I reached out again, which I did not want to do, but just to make peace, I reached out and I said, look, I apologize. I'm sorry if I hurt you. That was not my intention at all. I just need a, a break. You know, there's, this is how I am. I have to protect me because I am a mother. If I break down, who is going to take care of my children? Who is going to be a wife for Jedediah? He depends on me a lot. I am the cornerstone of this family um, and then I basically raced out the door because it was time to get the kids it was time to go through all my chores it was time to you know basically pep talk myself to all these situations um, Things that we take for granted, like being in line with like the bumper to bumper traffic to pick up our children. You guys do not know how much meditation and breathing I did to do that. You have no idea um, what it, maybe you do knows, know what it's like to feel like you want to call a school and say, you know, I think my kids are just going to start staying home again. I can't. The kids are so happy being at school. They want to actually go again tomorrow when tomorrow is their day to stay home. I'm not going to tell them, no, you guys have to stay with me because you guys are my babies. I'm going to let them go to school. So um, as I'm doing all these things and, you know, preparing for Jedediah's birthday because he's a May baby, um, that's another thing I have to do. I have to make all these phone calls and talk to people and when you go to cashiers do you guys prefer um, a gender I prefer to go to a female and that's because I just feel comfortable and I know that seems like who cares it's just a cashier right I care I am so intimidated I can't, I, it's tough for me to, I just don't make it a habit to go out of the way to talk to, you know, the opposite sex. I don't talk to men. This is the easiest way to conversate with anyone. Because it's just like, um, it's not real. So, anyway, while I'm out doing all these things and trying to prepare for my husband's birthday, um, and I left this message, I got five messages in return from our friend who probably, well, or I should say the friend that doesn't want to be my friend anymore because they probably thought I'm a jerk and that's fine or <sighs> it's 
if people don't understand that I do have their best intentions, always, but I can't keep putting other people in front of myself or my kids, then yeah, you can hate me or think I'm the worst person in the world. And whatever gifts that, you know, you bought out of the kindness of your heart as leverage for whatever reason, if you want those back, I will be glad to give them back to you. I have asked time and time again for people not to send anything. I purposely have been taking them out of videos. You will not find my P.O. box. Um, yeah, when, when people send me requests and donations, I've been sending them back. Uh, there's a few people that I ex I accept donations from, and those are some uh, really good friends. And that's a different story. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to see what this person had to say. I'm hoping that this person will be forgiving, like I think that they would be, and just know that I don't harbor any ill will. I, I'm just a mom. I'm just a nurse. This is not something to be taken seriously. Doing YouTube in some kind of... I'm not an artist. You know? I take pictures of trees and flowers and that makes my day happy. I spend time with my kids and, and my kittens and that's my life is to make sure that they're okay and, and alive and my husband you know for someone to go out of their way and just think that the sky is falling because we're not talking or we're no longer friends um, I did try to throw an olive branch out there like hey you know I just need a break I'll, I'll follow you on IG it's up to you so that's where we're at now I don't want to take up any more of your guys' time so let's Let's see what this person said. Once again, you guys don't know who this person is. You need to listen to the messages that you sent me. Unfriending me the way you did had nothing to do with me. If you have problems with people that I am associated with, that is your business. But... I'm not going to dissociate people who've been there for me or who are my friends because you don't like them. And that's why you unfriended me. Now you say, if you hurt me, how would you feel if I did it to you? How did you feel when Ryan did it to you? Did it hurt you? If you needed a break, you should have called me and we should have talked it out like real friends talk things out. I found it upset, un unacceptable the way you did what you did. Um, I never, I never, I never, I never not accepted you for who you was. So, that current message is BS. When you're ready to, don't write me anything that's not truthfully true. Okay? So as you put it, we're not friends anymore. So if you're gonna talk to me, come at me correct. And maybe something can be rebuilt. It's not about me accepting you. It's about you accepting me. Okay, so this person is not accepting my apology, and that's f absolutely fine. They think that I'm making it up. I don't know how. I, do I have time to sit here and mull over the millions of things that people tell me all day long, no. Because like you said in your own words, it's not you, only you. And 
I definitely understand this is how you are. Do you? But all the time we talk and converse, you don't understand who I am, which is the most disappointing. So this now is it master truly manipulation. Is an split because I know how you feel. And let this be the last time we speak. Because you didn't ask for a break. You broke us. As friends. And it made me feel that everything you said to me from before you sent that message, it feels like a lie. So now I'm a liar. <laughs> so we really didn't know each other, is what you're really, saying. Are you listening to what you said to me? I'm not. I know exactly what I said. You listen to it word for word. This was me trying not to hurt your feelings, but you're not getting it. Denial is ugly, dude. Uh, denial is ugly. Associate with whomever you want. I didn't ask you to disassociate from anybody. Do you see wh how you're like, you need to listen. I'm not going to listen once, twice, 1400 times. You just told me we're not ever going to speak again. So why would I even listen to it? You don't want to be friends? I don't want to be friends? Okay. I wish you all the best. Okay, good. I wish you the best too. I wish you good luck on your endeavors. That is also true. Is if it? your cage disappears and you're finally doing what you want to do, okay. That's it, guys. I, I'm just going to put this to rest. I don't have time for um, back and forth. I don't. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychoanalyst. I'm not even a psycho. I just know when people want to draw things out and when people want to play victims. I have family that they are like literally the people that write the book on playing the victim. So, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. It's fine. I'm not upset. Um, and I wish you all the best, too. Thanks.